Sun. Cinderella will be crowned princess this week. The best seamstress in the country has sewn a magnificent ceremonial dress for her, embellished with precious stones. I'm very excited, Pofu. Do you like my dress? It's great. You will be the most beautiful crowned princess ever. It took a lot of planning for this event. Royal members of neighboring countries, noble families, and many important people were invited to the ceremony. But there was someone lurking who wasn't happy about this at all. If this girl wears a crown, she'll become a real princess. This ceremony should never take place. How can we prevent that from happening? Ha ha ha! I've got the perfect plan. Ha 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 ha! What if something goes wrong at the ceremony? I'm so afraid, dear Pufu. Don't worry, my princess. Everything will be fine. What's that smoke? <gasps> Which Rosa and her daughter Sarah? What are they doing there? You wait here. I'll find out. What are you boiling in the cauldron? It's none of your business, silly bunny. Get out of here now! No need to get upset. I'm going. But Pofo was clever and didn't leave. Instead, she hid in a corner and followed them. Here goes. Now that girl can only dream of a crown. <laughs> so, what will this medicated pomegranate syrup do? Cinderella will get sick when she drinks this. There will be there will be red spots on her face. <laughs> and of course, the ceremony won't take place. <laughs> Pofu immediately told Cinderella what she had heard and advised her not to drink anything they'd offer. Is that so? It seems that they will never leave me alone. I think they should learn a lesson. Some time passed and Sarah came to Cinderella with a tray in her hand. Hello, Cinderella. I was thinking that we should be friends, so I baked you a cake with pomegranate syrup. I hope you like it. I'm happy to hear that, Sarah. I also think we should be friends. Thank you for your syrup. Cinderella knew that the syrup was medicated, so she did not taste it. She also made a cake mixed with the medicated syrup with another drink and sent it to Sarah. She believed I wanted to be her friend and sent me a treat. Silly princess. <laughs> the cake looks good. Let me taste it. Mmm, cherry syrup is also good. Sarah had some of the medicated syrup and got sick. Her face and eyes were filled with red spots. Oh my god, what happened to me? I look ugly. How did this happen? It looks like Cinderella has a spy. You have to think of something. Cinderella must not be crowned. If so, then we will steal the crown. What? 
Ah, so they will steal the crown. After hearing Witch Rose's plan, she ran back to Cinderella and shared everything she heard. I want a fake crown to be made fast, please. The most talented jewelers made a fake crown resembling the real one. It looks great! It's hard to tell them apart. Here goes nothing. Let's see what happens tonight. <laughs> she can forget wearing the crown now. One day, when Cinderella is expelled from the palace, I will marry the prince and wear this crown, mother. The witch is very surprised to see that the preparations in the palace continue the next day. What's going on? What nonsense is that? There should be no ceremony without a crown. Oh no! That's not possible! Where did these guards come from? We were fooled! This crown is fake! My dear Poofu, please keep an eye on the witch. I don't think she's done yet. Don't worry, princess. Leave it to me. The witch didn't give up easily, of course. She was making another potion in her room. It looks just like water. What will that do? You'll sprinkle this on Cinderella's outfit. When she goes out in the sun, she will have a foul smell. This is awesome! She will be humiliated in front of everyone. Of course! The ceremony will be cancelled. Nobody could be crowned with such dishonour. <laughs> hmm! This witch is really evil! While the witch and her daughter were peeking behind the door, Pofu entered and exchanged the bottle. I hate the kids in this palace. They always knock on the door and run away. Wait until I become queen one day. I'll punish them. Now, take this bottle, sneak into Silurenda's room and pour it over her dress. <laughs> Pofu had done exactly that to Sarah's outfit, but the mixture on the dress wasn't water at all, but the witch's potion. The awaited moment had arrived. The coronation ceremony had begun. <laughs> Let's see what happens to the princess's dress. But when the rays of sunlight hit Sarah's dress, it became wrinkled, filled with stains and an awful smell. Ugh, what is this? Oh no! Oh, what is this? Oh no! And everyone watched Cinderella get crowned. Long live our princess! 
Cinderella had married the prince and was very happy. But there was one thing that upset her. She constantly made mistakes because she didn't know oh, the palace's oh. rules. Why are the people around me looking at me weirdly? Her maid said her clothes were not suitable for the palace and that she should wear clothes worthy of a princess. Hmm, that's why everybody was looking and laughing at me. Now I understand. <laughs> Among those who laughed at Cinderella were the evil sorceress Rosa and her daughter Sarah. Since Rosa casts spells, everyone calls her Witch Rosa. <laughs> she became a princess, but she doesn't know how to dress in the palace. <laughs> I was supposed to marry the prince. It was my right to be a princess. <laughs> that can still happen. Trust your mother. Cinderella will regret being a princess. <laughs> Eventually, the king and the prince will realise that she cannot be a princess and this marriage will end. <laughs> Cinderella didn't know the rules, so she made mistakes again while having dinner. She dipped bread in her soup and slurped it. <laughs> Yummy! How tasty it is! When she couldn't cut the meat on her plate with a knife, Sarah, sitting next to her, gave her advice. You can eat the meat with your hand. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Cinderella believed Sarah and took the meat oh. with her hands and <laughs> ate it. But the people at the table laughed at her. How disgusting! It's a shame that a princess doesn't have table manners. I'm sorry, I won't make these mistakes again. One day, while sitting in the garden of the palace, she heard a voice next to her. Why are you so unhappy, princess? Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm Pofu. I have lived in this palace for many years. I know everything there is to know about the palace. Oh yeah? Maybe you can help me. What do you want me to help you with? I still don't know the customs of the palace. Sarah also tricked me so that I made more mistakes. What should I do? That is easy. You must go to princess school. Princess school? That's an excellent idea! Thank you very much, Pofu! You're a darling! Thus, it was decided that Cinderella would go to princess school. Cinderella is going to attend princess school. That girl won't do well at school. But what can we do? Ha 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 ha! You will go to that school too, and you will do what I say. On the first day of school, students would be given a walking lesson. Cinderella was surprised to see Sarah in the classroom. Oh, Sarah? Why are you here? As a lady of society, I have to improve myself. Remember, there will be an exam on how to carry yourself at the end of the lesson. Good luck! Cinderella shall not pass this exam. Take this powder and pour it on the clothes she will be wearing. What is this powder? Ha ha ha! Itching powder! Ha ha ha! Don't show it to anyone. 
Oh no, they're plotting against Cinderella, not under my watch. A dazzling, sparkling princess dress was prepared for Cinderella. Sarah sneaked into the room and dusted the powder on Cinderella's dress. Oh no, I have to do something right now. Finally, it was time for the exam and Cinderella walked with the grace of a princess in her shimmering gown. Why isn't this girl itching? Didn't you sprinkle the powder? I did, but I don't understand either. When it was Sarah's turn, she couldn't walk properly because she was itching and scratching. So she didn't pass the exam. How can that be? Impossible! Puffo, what are you doing here? I came to watch you. Congratulations, you walked so beautifully. You were born a princess. What happened to Sarah? She was scratching and couldn't walk. I feel bad for her. Don't be sad. Sarah dusted itching powder on your gown, but I cleaned the powder and sprinkled it on her clothes. She got the punishment she deserved. Now I understand why she came to school. She wanted me to fail. Yes, you should watch out for them. The next exam would be table etiquette. The princess of the neighbouring country will also attend and be the guest of honour at dinner. This time, don't make any mistakes, you clumsy girl. Cinderella must not pass this exam. So what should I do? Just pour this liquid on her soup. Hmm. They're scheming something again. They never give up. Finally, it was time for the banquet. Everyone took their place at the table. Cinderella welcomed the guest princess. Welcome, princess. It's an honour to host you at our school. They all sat at the table and started eating their meal. Sarah took the small bottle out of her pocket and poured it into Cinderella's soup without anyone noticing. Oh no! I must warn Cinderella! Oh! This is Puffu! Is she pointing at me? Cinderella understood what Puffu was trying to say and she replaced her soup with Sarah's without anyone noticing. No! Don't! Stop! Don't drink! Oh no! At the end of the day, Cinderella successfully passed the exam and received the etiquette certificate. I couldn't have done it without you, Pofu. Thank you so much. I'll always be by your side, my princess.